Welcome hoarders, they're going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5, and this testing Tuesday we will be testing the Karen Karuma, um, the armored version. Um, I have owned the regular version on PlayStation 3, but I sold it before I transferred over. Uh, I feel... I'm gonna be completely honest with all of you. Uh, I'm the main reason I'm doing the video is I I need money for um, for some of the newer vehicles that they added in the game, and this is another one of those ones that I don't really use anymore, mostly because I don't do the final heist anymore, and there's loopholes that you were able to do that would that were very helpful with the Karuma. Um, and you just can't do them anymore. They were pretty much patched. So you, there's no reason for me to have this. I believe it's somewhat of an overrated vehicle for what it is. However, I do believe it's one of the best armored vehicles in the game, considering the speed, um, the agility, um, and just... The protection that it actually provides because some of the other ones don't actually protect you that much uh, there's let me look um, I forget the name of the vehicle that's not even the button I wanted um, there's a couple other armored vehicles that they have for sale on here um, that I just don't they don't work I bought one of them uh, it was down here. Uh, it was one of these two. Uh, you could get an armored version of it. And when you get it armored, it just adds a little border around the windows, like right there. But you can do probably, I think it was like something like 10 shots to the glass until it actually broke. So it was like weakened bulletproof glass. Um... The Neon is on sale, which I might end up getting that because I haven't tested it yet. Um, the Revolter might be in a video next week. It might not be. I don't take anything I say uh, as for sure because between now and next week, one of the main vehicles I'm going to try to get is the Terabyte, and then I would like to get the Oppressor which both of these, as you can see, are very expensive vehicles. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally went out to the other screen. Oopsie poopsie. Uh, but, yeah, like this I really want, but I don't know how good it's actually going to be. The funny thing is it's like the same color as the Mark I. Um, but I hope that it's constant if it's a constant uh amount of boost that would be very nice because it would be a lot more helpful because with the regular oppressor you hit mountains and lot a uh, mountains and lot you hit mountains a lot with it because you try to keep doing like an up and down like an s motion in the sky to keep your momentum higher and higher but it doesn't stay very long so if the other bike i'm not gonna sell my impress my impressor jesus i can't talk i'm not going to sell the oppressor mark one until i know that the other one's better if the new one's better i'll sell the old one after i do a video on it but other than that i'm going to be keeping the uh, mark one because it's a very helpful vehicle for um, just getting around and getting crates and stuff. I don't know why I'm talking so much about that. Um, I kind of do like a little ramble thing at the beginning of these videos, including uh, performance on the car, which I will do in a second. But it's like that along with what happened in the past week. 
uh, pretty much like as a recap thing because I don't really have that much time to do it um, with my Monday videos uh, depending on what they are I don't know um, but uh, regarding the vehicle it's not extremely fast uh, you actually I've had this vehicle for probably over a year now and I didn't realize that it wasn't maxed out. I did max it out right before I started the video. That's why I started at the garage. Uh, I already did all that crap. Um, and I was kind of annoyed because I started out with 240 something thousand dollars. Now I'm down to 86,000. Um, because I was working on, I want to get the Benny's version of the slam van. Um, but as of performance let's cover all the bases um i believe it is four wheel drive yep yeah, everyone turns in there jeez okay let me do the yeah it's four wheel drive uh this one feels very good to drive um i think it's because the little bit of extra weight uh with the armor if that's actually added weight to the vehicle i assume it would be uh it's a little bit sluggish but for an armored car it goes fairly quick uh braking isn't great steering's pretty good um it's fairly agile for being four-wheel drive and having armor on it uh it does have a bit of understeer but if you push the understeer too much You'll get way over steer, and then you'll be in trouble. Um, can't really think of much more to talk about this, so let's head on over to the test track and see what we can get with this. Um, it is based on a uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, um, but I am not... I'm not a very big fan of import vehicles, so I don't know if it's... If I had to guess, it's an Evo 6? Or no, an Evo 5. No. Not 5. Fucking 4. I'm a dumb dumb. I think. I'm not completely sure um, of what one exactly it is, but it's definitely... Um, based off of some type of Mitsubishi Lancer. Shaboopy, Shaboopy. Yeah, it... The car is not impossible to shoot through the windows. You can, but you just have to be in, like, the perfect spot to shoot. Um... You almost cannot shoot out the back window, which is somewhat annoying. Um, what else? I believe in this one you cannot throw, uh, like you can't use throwables, like uh, sticky bombs, grenades, uh, pipe bombs. I don't think you can, um, but you can shoot. I know you can shoot, and this is actually one of the... I I think other than the half track, this is the first armored vehicle I've tested. Um, I was thinking about doing a uh, a video of the regular Karuma versus armored Karuma. I've done some videos like that in the past, like the Ballista versus Ballista Compact. Uh, like new to old is mostly what I do. That or like. The standard stallion versus the race stallion. Stuff like that. Um, but I don't do them very often. I do them sometimes because they take... It takes like double the money to do those videos, obviously, because you have to have two cars. Um, I already own this one, so I just wanted to do this now. Um, cause it would take a little longer. I just, I needed a vehicle to test, um, while trying to save money, even though I didn't really save money. 
I spent like 200 grand on the car, but that's okay. You have to spend money to make money. Uh, I didn't even check what time we got. Uh, we got 2 minutes 25.544 seconds. Uh, I'm not sure how quick that is. So let's head on over to the leaderboard and see where we placed. The Armored Karuma finished in 66th place at 2 minutes 25.544 seconds. Not a very quick time. Um, it's right about in the middle with all the other cars being that I've done just a little over 100 different tests. To me, there's nothing really special about this car or worth having it anymore, which is the reason I'm doing the videos so I can get rid of it, um, hopefully get my 500 grand back or something close to it. You, I'm probably only going to end up getting like 350 grand for it, which is something really annoying about Grand Theft Auto V, but that's for a different story. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's not, it's not a great car. It's just very basic. The only quirk that it has that's worth anything is that it's hard to get shot in it. Um, it's pretty much impossible. I'm not saying it is impossible. I have been shot by AIs before while driving this vehicle. But it's very hard to get killed while being in that car from AIs. Um, but regular players can still kill you. So now let's head on over to the drag track and see what we can get over there with this. This one, I have some pretty good confidence that it's going to do fairly good. Um, it probably did fairly good on the, uh, standard test track too, because most vehicles like this have... A very good chance at that because uh, this is a very agile vehicle um, I'm sure it's not as agile and as stable to drive around in as the standard version without the armor uh, but we will have to test that at a later time when I eventually get it um, so we'll have to wait and see what we get 27.029 seconds. I'm not sure how good that is, so let's head on over to the leaderboard and see where we placed. On the drag track, the Armored Karuma finished in 61st place at 27.029 seconds, tying with the Lampadati Casco, which by just that, between those two cars, um, getting the exact same time, I would still rather have the Casco, which is why I still have that, and as of the time that this video will be out, I will no longer have the Karuma. Um, if I will probably buy it again if the circumstances are, like, if it's an actual needed vehicle, because the big reason I'm getting rid of it, I don't think I really clarified it at the beginning of the video. The big reason I'm getting rid of it is that I just don't do the final heist anymore because you can't do what you could do before with the car. There was like this little trick where you could park the car in a certain place and then when you got the money you could just get in the car and then drive around by the bikes and then head towards the mountain so you would be a lot more covered. Um, but sadly, you can't do that anymore, so there's not really a point in doing that anymore. Me and my friends just decided that that mission was not worth the money and that you needed four people, and you're a lot better off just doing the um, second heist um, out of the new series that they added a little bit ago with the uh, going into the submarine. That is one of the best... Uh, heist that you can do and plus you won't, you can do it with one other friend and I've beat it several several times probably about 10 or 11 times by now with the same friend and me and him have it down pat so you can just go in get about 600,000 a piece which is 
better than what you were getting at the uh, the final heist on the other one anyway, which you can't use the car anymore, so it's just not worth having anymore. There's nothing that's good about it other than performance, which is why I'm getting rid of this one, and I'm going to be going to get the regular non-armored Karuma, which I might test next week. I probably won't. <laughs> um, but please post down in the comments down below uh, what vehicle you would like to see me test in the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.